K today. Look outside in downtown Longview. We're starting out with mostly clear skies, so rain's not going to be the problem this morning. Of course, the heat, humidity, isolated rain chances in play this afternoon might present an issue if you want to be outside today. Now, I do want to hit on Ida here real quickly, and this is what's left of it. The remnants have really wreaked havoc on the northeast. I've been seeing video all morning of some of the flooding that has gone on for the New York State area. And unfortunately, that did drop a couple of tornadoes across New Jersey, Pennsylvania and New York yesterday. But that continues to move off to the north and to the east into sections of Maine and the Canadian Maritimes there. So Ida will slowly become less of a problem for us here in the US. Now, that being said, area of high pressure right now is anchored over central Oklahoma, and it is having an influence on our weather pattern here in North Texas. And unfortunately, we will see those temperatures about five degrees above the normal for this time of year. Here's that high pressure ridge. Now it is going to move uh, over our area here over the next couple of days. And what that is going to do is it's going to provide us with enough sinking air to squash out those afternoon rain chances. And it should actually help our dew points become about five degrees cooler. And that should drop them in the 60s. So some good news there. It should be a relatively dry weekend. However, this is going to start to push off to the west. And as it does next week, that should open the door for some of this northwesterly flow. You can see those little arrows on the screen pushing from northwest to, to the southeast, and that should give us another chance of rain, especially after Wednesday of next week. But it's still going to be hot and the humidity, unfortunately, is probably going to return. Now, temperatures right now are in the middle 70s. Dew points also in the 70s, so plenty of moisture for those showers to work with today. And you can see for that bus stop forecast, again, recess, still going to be hot one for recess. I don't foresee it being canceled, or at least it wouldn't be when I was in school. Temperatures will be in the 90s, so hot and humid. Make sure the kiddos have plenty of water for today. Over the next seven, we're going to be in the 90s. A few sprinkles around tomorrow as well. We do dry out Saturday and Sunday and then I went ahead and included at least an isolated rain chance, especially as that area of high pressure pushes off to the west on Monday and Tuesday of next week in deep east Texas. Similar rain chances, similar attempts. We range from 96 to 99 for afternoon highs and lows should be in the low to middle 70s. So pretty common for this time of year. I mean, it's just going to take a while for us, you know, to start feeling that fall weather. It's going to take a strong cold front from the north and I just don't have that in the forecast, at least over the next week. Well, I like those lows a lot more than I like those highs. 70s, exactly. I'll take that. Yeah, 90s. I mean, if we could get those 70s a little higher on that graphic, I think we would be uh, talking some good weather at that point. Yeah, well, we keep crossing our fingers <laughs> yeah, for fall to come soon, hopefully. right? <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate that forecast, but I appreciate our viewers even more. There we they go. show some appreciation to our viewers.